This is the spin effect and how you can apply it in After Effects. The animation that we will create will represent the enhanced skills in After Effects that you can apply to make better YouTube videos. Let's start by marking the pen tool and I will use a 10px stroke and let's start by marking the very bottom left corner. Press and drag at the same time to be able to curve the line a little bit and continue the line against the very top right corner to create a bit of curvy graph. Once we reach the top with the line, we will do a little bit of adjustments if necessary. Mark one of the outlined little blue boxes, the rectangles, and you will get up the small blue lines. And to be able to adjust the line a little bit, press on one of these blue circles and drag it out or move it a bit back and forward. Perhaps this one can use a little bit of more curving. Next, we will grab one of the footage. We start with a YouTube, a PNG file, and you can just press it and drag and drop it over the line in the composition. Then we want to adjust it a little bit and we can scale it down proportionately by holding shift and drag at the same time. And when you're happy with the scaling, Let's move down to the shape layer line and as a normal good habit, we will change the name to this. Press enter and name this to line. Then press the little arrow on the side. We go down to contents, shape one, path one, and then mark the path. Press control C to copy it. Then go to the layer of YouTube and press P for position. And we want to paste in the position we copied from the shape layer, from the line. Then let us mark only the last keyframe and to be able to drag them out proportionately, holding Alt and drag at the same time to the right, to the very end of the timeline. And as you can see now, we got the first animation where the icon is actually moving along the line. But a little trick we can do to actually get it to rotate along the line is to right click the icon, go to transform and then choose the very bottom one, the outer orient and then choose orient along path. And as you can see, the icon will actually turn around and move along a bit more smooth along the path. Next, let's go up again to the project panel and we will take the next footage, the Adobe After Effects CC PNG, and just drag and drop this one as well to the composition. We will also scale it down and again hold shift and drag at the same time. And we will just move it a little bit in the right direction. Hit enter and change the name to AE. Press Ctrl D to copy it and move this a little bit up to the left. We're going to make some more copies. So again, Ctrl D, move it about here. Ctrl D and Ctrl D again to get five icons in total. Let's go to the first icon and move the cursor a little bit to see about where we want the first animation here to take place, roughly here and press Ctrl Shift D to split and duplicate the layer. Go to effects and presets and search for spin. And for the YouTube icon, we will apply the spin in and just double click on it. And we will also apply the spin in effect on the first one, the Adobe After Effects CC PNG. And thus we get an animation that spins in a little bit into the frame. And with the other part of the layer that we just duplicated, just mark it and we will apply the spin out effect to this one. And this will be opposite to spin in and we will spin out of frame. Then let's adjust it a little bit by dragging in the very end of it to about where the cursor is. Just before you almost can't see the icon anymore. And press P to get up the position and create first keyframe by pressing the stopwatch. And drag the keyframe one frame to the left. Then you can just press and drag the After Effect icon and drag it on top of the YouTube icon. So we will be able to summon our After Effect skills and throw it at YouTube to be able to expand it into better videos. Well, that's the plan at least. Let's mark the YouTube icon and hold Shift and press S at the same time to get up the scale. 
and we hold shift to be able to keep the position visible at the same time. Move the keyframe one frame to the left and create a new keyframe at 25%. Go forward a little bit and let's put the next layer to start at about the middle of the last layer. And as the continuing process would just be a repetition of what we just done, I will fast forward it. You can have a quick look if you like. And if you're following along, just pause the video at the end of the fifth animation, the fifth icon, and we will continue from there in normal pace. So once all these icons are animated, let's mark all the keyframes here. And you can just left click the mouse and drag all over the keyframes to the very bottom left. Press F9 to ease them and then U to be able to collapse all the layers. And we will mark all the layers with After Effect in the timeline and then press Ctrl Shift C to be able to create a new composition and name this AE Icons to make it a little bit more clean and organized in the timeline. And as you can see, we got a bit of an animation here. Now we just want to continue a little bit with the animation we started with for the scaling of the YouTube icon. Thus we will start with finding the next spot where the second After Effect icon hit the YouTube icon. And find a spot just about where the icon of the After Effect hit the YouTube icon. And then we want to press Control arrow left just to get it one more frame outside. We create the first keyframe here by pressing this little mark to the left in the timeline. And you can hold control and press arrow right to go one frame to the right. And we will change this number from 25% to 30%. Or let's make it 32%. So we do it a little bit higher each time. We repeat the same process here and create a keyframe and then go one frame to the right by holding control and press the arrow right. And we can change this to 40%. Go forward a bit again in the timeline. And let's change this to 52 and go back in the timeline using control arrow left. And we have to change this back to 40 again. Then move forward a little bit again in the timeline to do the last animation for these icons and create a keyframe for just when the icons are beside each other. Move one frame to the right and we will change this to 68. And we can have a quick look by pressing spacebar. And I think I will just do a little bit of tweaking here for the scaling of the YouTube icon. So just move them a little bit further apart. One more frame, you can just drag it to the right. And let's also do a little bit of easing by marking them all and press F9. Lastly, mark the YouTube icon and press spin loop to add the last effect. And there you have it, your final animation. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn some more, please subscribe and make sure that you don't miss out on the next one.